Hello everyone, it's Lydia. So I'm about to create some more shabby chic ornaments and I will do a second video with the finished pieces because I have no idea how to edit and I will be here forever. So yesterday I went to the Dollar Tree hoping to find some silver snowflakes but all I found were these. You get 10 snowflakes and they're pretty, they're white and they have some glitter on them. They're still shabby chic, but I wanted silver. So I figured that I would add some glitter to them when I got home. But when I got home, I had a third of a vial of glitter. This is by Pro Art. I paid 99 cents for this, I don't know, maybe two years ago. That's all I had left, so I was only able to glitter three of the snowflakes and this is kind of the look I was going for really silver and spark sparkly and shimmery and I used a spray adhesive put a nice amount on there and then just sprinkle your glitter on it and then flip it over and tap it onto your glitter so I was able to create three and then I ran out of glitter so then I tried some stickles and I just added a little bit on a tray and used my brush to brush it on and it turned out like this. I'm not crazy about it. It's almost dry so I'm going to try giving it another coat to see if I can get more of a glittery effect. And then I thought I don't, I wish I had fine glitter but I don't but I do have some of this pure ice nail polish. This is the one that I layer on top of my uh, regular nail polish. So I tried some of that and it looks like this. So I'm going to try giving it another coat. It's almost dry. It's pretty glittery but it's not as glittery as I wanted it to. I like the, the first three better. So now that that's done, I went over to Pinterest and I looked for free bottle cap images. So you type in um, Christmas bottle cap, bottle cap images and you'll get a bunch and some of them are copyrighted so they'll have like lines or words on them but you will find some free ones. So I found these and I saved them onto my computer for future projects. I found these with some cute Santas. This little boy there. There's a Santa. Santa in his workshop. It's a little fairy and some Christmas trees. And then I found this one. This image is so cute. The Santa. And some of these. So that's what I did. So what I'm going to do is um, alter a bottle cap. So here I have a white one. And I'm going to use this image. Isn't he cute? It's like a vintage Santa. I'm going to add a little um, vintage photo around the edges. So I can add them in there and my glossy accents is probably going to be clogged. So here's the vintage photo by Tim Holtz. And let me get my glossy accents and I'm going to stick a needle in it because I know it's going to be clogged. It always is. And I'm just going to add a little bit in the on the bottle cap and it's not really coming out. Such a pain in the neck. So there's, the, yep, it's coming out nice flow now and I'm going to pop him in there. And I just printed him on um, regular computer paper, printer paper. I didn't want to waste my cardstock. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glossy accents around the edge of this image all the way around the edge and then I'm going to add some of this glitter I don't even remember where I got this from I had to transfer it I'm thinking this might be, might be Martha Stewart and they're like little granules they look like salt can you see that and I want to add that around my image and when you add in the the rest of your um glossy accents if you want you can add some tiny beads or teeny tiny buttons while it's still wet 
So there's my Santa, and he's all glittered up. Isn't that pretty? And um, I'm going to finish filling that with glossy accents. And then he's going to go right on my silver snowflake, and I'll add some pretty seam binding. So I'll be back on my next video. I'll share all of my ornaments completed. All right, ladies, thanks for spending some time with me. Thanks for watching everyone. Post a comment if you wish, and subscribe. Have a fabulous day. Bye.